Atlanta and America's great comedians. Like Rodney Dangerfield, he didn't really start until his late 30s, early 40s. And he does it, and he does it really well. His name is Carlos Rodriguez, and he's here right now. Great comedian. Carlos, Carlos Rodriguez. Thank you, Jerry. How are we doing tonight, folks? All right. Uh, thank you so much for, for having me. It's, uh, it's uh, incredible to be part of this uh, organization. I'm, I'm, if I can contribute in any, in any way, I'm more than happy to do it. Um, this, is, uh, this is way more. I drove two hours to get here in the heat, and this is still better than my day job, guys. I'm a, I'm a dental hygienist. That's what I do nine to five. And um, silence and disbelief, that is the proper response. I, I get it. I know what I look like. I look like security uh, at Walmart or something, right? I, uh, somebody told me I look like uh, if Vin Diesel and Pitbull had a love child, and then they overfed him. And uh, I was like, that's, that's not nice, Mom. Why are, you, why are you coming at me like that? That's a little harsh, you know? I, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. I... Uh, yeah, I, I got a. Well, I can't even. I can't suppress it any longer. I got a brand new six-week-old grandchild, so I'm pretty excited about that. Thank you. I didn't. I didn't do anything, but uh, I just kept the house comfortable and and raised an irresponsible 24-year-old. So that's that's all. That's, that was my contribution. That's what I did. <laughs> but I'm loving it, man. I'm loving the grandpa thing. I haven't changed the diaper in a while, and. Uh, yeah, baby doo-doo is still just as horrible as we remember, folks. It's, uh, okay, all right, sorry. Too far? Did I go? <laughs> Fat Vin Diesel, that's what somebody called me the one time. That's, that's ridiculous. That is, I, you know, being a male hygienist, you stand out a little bit. I had some rude people um, come in, a lady come in, and she goes, uh, I've never seen a male hygienist before. I'm like, that's because you're mispronouncing it, ma'am. That is, that is the reason. And then she goes, listen, I got to know, um, you're not a homosexual, right? I go, wow, that's incredibly rude. And no, no, I'm not, ma'am. My husband is. <laughs> Why do you want to know? <laughs> you meet some incredible people, man. I lost my voice a few weeks ago, and everything I said came out very aggressive, simple stuff. Stuff like, open your mouth. Turn your head. I was like, this sounds aggressive. Can I go home? And my manager goes, just whisper. Whisper. What can go wrong? And I'm like, look at me, man. Nobody that looks like this needs to be saying in the dental office, close your eyes. It's not safe for me to be here today. I got to go. I, uh, I'm married, guys, uh, 30 years in. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, but don't clap. You don't know her. She's a lunatic. I... Uh, I love her to death, but I don't like her. You guys know what I'm talking about? I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> we argue over dumb stuff, like which way does the toilet paper come off the roll? It's over the top. It's the only thing that makes sense. She's an underhander, and I don't have that kind of time to look for seams. I just want to slap and go, you know? I, I got things to do. I cannot be here all night like a lunatic looking for seams. I don't know, man. Well, uh, let's just uh, let's just talk about it, man. The uh, the COVID crisis. This is it's ridiculous. It's changed my daytime job. I gotta wear a, a hairnet, which is stupid. But I go, why? You know, I could just hit this with some alcohol and keep it moving. And um, and then they told me before I came back, they said you gotta get shoes that you can wash, like jellies. What do you what do you? <laughs> but I gotta wear a shield. Two masks, goggles. I can't see a thing. I'm going to be honest with you. My cleanings are trash lately. I, uh, if you come see me, you may or may not get your teeth cleaned. I don't know what's going on. My last patient goes, did you do a good job? I'm like, I don't know, but I think your nose is, is clean, sir. I, uh, and your toenails are definitely good to go. But um, I don't know, man. I, uh, I took a flight recently. And uh, I had the whole row to myself. And I, and I was thinking, I go, if, if it takes a pandemic for me to get a little bit extra elbow room on a Delta flight, then I'm willing to roll that dice. You know what I mean? 
wearing a mask. Let's keep our fingers crossed. See what happens. My mom, I went to visit my mother, and she was a, she's in her 70s and has asthma, so she doesn't mess around. She wouldn't let me in the house. She met me on the porch with a rubber suit like she was doing an autopsy. I'm like, what's going on, Dexter? She goes, you want to come in? I got to spray you down first. I go, what is that? She goes, don't worry about it. Close your eyes and hold your breath. Put your arms out. I go, what is that? She goes, it's water and alcohol. I'm pretty sure that's not OSHA certified, Mom. I, uh, that's not a real thing. That's a homemade remedy. She fed me on paper plates. I go, really? Paper plates? There's no, no china? She goes, I'm burning everything when you leave. I'm, I'm not playing around with you. You got to use the bathroom. Go outside. There's a bush. I, uh, I go, wow, Mom. This is, this is harsh. I, um, <laughs> I lost 45 pounds recently, guys. Yeah, no one cares. You, you know, some of you are like, um, you're not done, right? You're... No, no, it's a work in progress, folks. It's a work in progress. I used to be fat. I like going to the gym. I like doing this move right here. What's, what's, what's this move right here? What's this? L lunges? Is that... Ma'am, my eyes are up here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Slow burn. Slow burn. Forgot this was a fundraiser. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not going to keep you guys um, too long. I, uh, life is stressful. And, you know, we got a big election coming up. And, and no matter who wins, they're going to set the cities on fire. And uh, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just, it's people, there's a lot of angry people out there. And I think we just, everybody needs to just slow down and, and take a breath and, and, and just try to find the, the beauty in life like, like I am with this baby. you got to find what makes you happy. Um, I, I see things through a little bit different prism nowadays. I had a little uh, medical situation last summer, and I thought I was going to die. I was on, on stage, and uh, I broke out in a cold sweat, and it uh, turns out I was having a heart attack on stage, which is crazy. Which, if you got to go, that's kind of a pretty cool way to go, but... Uh, I made it home, and uh, my wife is a nurse. We raced to the hospital, and uh, they figured it out. And this was Father's Day weekend, 2019. And uh, okay, these are just jokes. It's either laugh or cry, so everybody relax, okay? And uh, uh, all weekend I'm in the hospital, and I, I tell the guy, I go, listen, I thought I was going to go out for a steak with my son tonight. He's like, not tonight, playboy. You're getting some of this boiled turkey is what you're going to be eating, Right? <laughs> So Monday morning, the nurse comes into my room. She goes, listen, I'm going to take your vital signs, and then I'm going to come back and get prep you for the procedure. I go, uh, prep for the procedure? What does that mean? She goes, you know, tighten things up a little bit. I go, what? She goes, sir, we're going we're gonna to shave your groin is what's going to happen. I go, oh, okay. I didn't think this could get worse, but uh, I go, can, can I do my own groin? Is that a thing? I go, listen, I've been married 30 years, and it's freezing in here. It's very, very cold. She goes, no, we got to do it. And she got me, guys. She got me. Clean as a whistle, son. From the waist down, I look like a baby seal. It was crazy. <laughs> they wheeled me into the cath lab, and as soon as I get there, they hit me with a mop full of antiseptic solution right at ground zero, you know? I was like, wow, is there enough ice in that? That's... That's spicy. She goes, it might sting a little bit. I said, a little bit? Is this gasoline? I'm on fire down there. So I'm laying there. I can't move. I'm trying to cool it off. I'm like. <laughs> but the breath was hitting my belly and shooting out this way. The lady's bangs are moving. I'm like, this is horrible. I was like, nurse, I know this is inappropriate, and I'm sorry, but is there any way that you could. She's like, what? No, you're just gonna, you, you have to air dry, sir. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. So anyway, that was my, my life-altering uh, story. I uh, almost didn't make it tonight, Jerry. I don't know if I told you. I got into a little fender bender a couple of days ago and uh, had to get a, a rental car. Anybody ever run a car with Enterprise? Yeah. Horrible. They lost my reservation again. I'm like, how does this keep happening? And the lady was like, I don't, I don't know, but... Uh, she goes, I go, uh, do you have my car? She's like, no, but we got an SUV for you. I go, I don't want an SUV. She goes, it's a small one. You're going to love it. It's a Hyundai Tucson. 
You mean Tucson? She goes, Tucson? Is that how you say it? I'm like, yeah. She goes, what's a Tucson? I'm like, are you serious? It's a city in Arizona. It's right next to Phonix. <laughs> which, which you need to get hooked on, evidently. She goes, huh? I can, never mind. Give me the keys to the Tucson. You're too, too busy to talk to. I'm just glad it wasn't a Buick Rendezvous. Oh, we'd still be there, man. We got a Rendy's Vouse you can have. Really? A Rendy's Vouse? What is that, a German tank? <laughs> I don't know, man. Just do me a favor, though, guys. When you go to the dentist and, and you don't floss, just man up and say so. I'd rather listen. Look, man, I don't floss. Throw some in the bag. We'll talk about it again in six months. You know? I don't floss, but not as much as I should. That means nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. You know? It's a rhetorical question. I know if you're not flossing. I know your mouth is a litter box when you show up. You know what I mean? It's just... I'm giving you an opportunity to... <laughs> you know that little metal thing they poke you in the gums with? We don't even have to do that. Do it just for fun. Do it just for fun. I had a guy come in the other day, <laughs> and the guy was 6'5", Dressed real nice. He had, like, those fancy boots on. You know what I mean? Not work boots, but, like, dress boots. And, uh, and they were brown. So, uh, you know, he's got a little bit of money. You know, he smelled expensive. And uh, we had to go down the hallway to get some extras. You come back to the room. He's sitting side saddle. It's a dental chair, man. Everybody knows you sit in it lengthwise, right? I go, turn around for me, buddy. I go wash my hands. I look back over, and the dude's looking up over me, at, you know, like a, like a two-year-old on a flight. And I'm like, are we playing peekaboo, buddy? What's going on? He goes, what did you mean? I'm like, it's a chair, man. Sit in the chair the way you normally sit in a chair. What are you talking about? Am I being a jerk? Am I being a little bit? <laughs> Just frustrated. You know, I don't say these things, but this is what I was thinking, you know. I don't know, man. Life is crazy. Life is crazy. I, uh, I'm trying to, I want to leave you on something that, uh, that makes me laugh. All right, well, you know, I've been going to the gym a lot. I really have been trying to lose weight because of the heart attack and all that, right? And, uh, you know, they tell you the, the, the belly is the last to go. That's the last. Like, I had a heart-to-heart -heart with my stomach. I was like, dude, you, you got to go. He's like, look, man, I'm not going anywhere to the end of the month. Like, uh, like he pays rent, you know what I mean? I'm like... You've been squatting for six months, dude. It's time to go, man. It's time to go. Guys, I'm Carlos Rodriguez. You guys have been fantastic. Please open up your wallets, donate, give it up. These guys need it. And uh, thank you so much for having me. Jerry, thank you so much. You guys, have a great night. Thank you.